We have many distractions today that can pull us away from our faith. When stress, anxiety, or difficult times come our way, we may turn to our few real friends or even a voluminous number of virtual friends or followers. But how do we know their advice will not fail? The truth is that we cannot know for sure. However, when we patiently trust the Lord, we place our faith on a firm foundation that cannot be shaken. God's people have faced this dilemma throughout the ages. Isaiah 28 verse 16 emphasizes the importance of patient faith in the Lord versus relying on the supposed strength of foreign helpers. Those who trust in the Lord are placing their faith in a firm foundation, the cornerstone. This guides all our decisions with his wisdom and helps us avoid hasty determinations. This scripture is a call for believers to remain calm and deliberate, especially in times of trial. Spurgeon further explores the idea that true faith prevents hasty actions and decisions. He contrasts the believer's steady pace with the frantic activity of unbelief, highlighting the importance of trusting in God's guidance. He concludes with a personal reflection, urging the reader to examine their own faith and find peace in patiently waiting on the Lord. Isaiah 28 verses 16 to 17 says, Therefore thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am the one who has laid as a foundation in Zion, a stone, a tested stone, a precious cornerstone of a sure foundation. Whoever believes will not be in haste. And I will make justice the line, and righteousness the plumb line. And hail will sweep away the refuge of lies, and waters will overwhelm the shelter. Here are Charles Spurgeon's words of wisdom from his work in The Checkbook of the Bank of Faith. Whoever believes will not be in haste. Isaiah 28 verse 16. He shall make haste to keep the Lord's commandments, but he shall not make haste in any improper sense. He shall not haste to run away, for he shall not be overcome with the fear which causes panic. When others are flying hither and thither as if their wits had failed them, the believer shall be quiet, calm, and deliberate, and so shall be able to act wisely in the hour of trial. He shall not haste in his expectations, craving his good things at once and on the spot, but he will wait God's time. Some are in a desperate hurry to have the bird in the hand, for they regard the Lord's promise as a bird in the bush, not likely to be theirs. Believers know how to wait. He shall not haste by plunging into wrong or questionable action. Unbelief must be doing something, and thus it works its own undoing, but faith makes no more haste than good speed, and thus it is not forced to go back sorrowfully by the way which it followed heedlessly. How is it with me? Am I believing, and am I therefore keeping to the believer's pace, which is walking with God? Peace, fluttering spirit, rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Heart, see that you do this at once. Those who believe and trust in the Lord will not be in haste. Are you patiently waiting on Him and trusting in God's timing? Do not rush into hasty actions or expectations, but rather wait for God's guidance. As Spurgeon encouraged us, examine your faith today, calm your spirit, and find your peace and rest in the Lord. Therefore thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am the one who has laid as a foundation in Zion, a stone, a tested stone, a precious cornerstone, of a sure foundation. Whoever believes will not be in haste. Isaiah 28 verse 16.